switching gears a little bit, um, we spelled out a truly you know, depressing landscape of what all is wrong, and I'm sure there's a lot more. Um, corporate structure, in my mind, governance is a key um, starting point for helping to ensure that information is handled more appropriately. Okay? Um, so what's a board of directors do? And here, leadership in general. I mean, this is motherhood and apple pie, right? Their main job is to achieve the organizational goals. Okay, drive profitable growth, return for stakeholders, all that other good stuff. Promote the brand, ensure management is addressing risks appropriately, um, and guard against disruption and react to black swan events. Of course, by definition, black swan events are black swans. If you knew about them, they wouldn't be black swans. Uh, anyone know what a black swan event is? Really good book. Black Swan. It's about an un, it's an unpredicted, unanticipated event. Disruption is essentially Black Swan. Companies are going along um, happily doing their thing, and suddenly out of left field, wham! Somebody hits them upside the head with some, you know, truly innovative approach to conducting business that they hadn't considered. Okay, most companies are very slow at disrupting themselves because, well, it's disruptive. It costs money, and you may not necessarily be implementing that which would have disrupted you in the first place. My favorite example of where this is gonna be a, um, an issue is take the insurance industry. The insurance industry has been around for a very long time. Anybody here in insurance? Anybody here own insurance? Okay. What's insurance? So you, you know that, that the, the, it's all about probabilities. Okay? You as the consumer are placing the bet that you're going to get in an accident and break your leg. The insurance company is placing the bet you're not, but you're going to pay your premium anyway. Okay? So that's kind of the way it works. Well, what if, what if you could analyze your DNA and know with a high degree of certainty that you're going to have a heart attack by the time you're around 50? Okay? Insurance companies would just carve out heart attack from your policy, but that's not helping you, because suddenly now you've got you know, a new expense. And by the way, not to mention it's a bit depressing to know you're gonna have a heart attack when you hit 50. But fast forward around the power of analytics and the ability that has to drive uncertainty out of the day-to-day -day from an insurance company perspective. It completely changes up the business model. And okay? what if you knew what was gonna happen? So anyway, the point being, these disruptions. So if somebody comes along with an algorithm that all of a sudden can accurately predict storms, I mean really predict storms, to where, to where the, the notion of an insurance payout becomes moot because they know the event's gonna happen, that suddenly disrupts that whole um, insurance paradigm, doesn't it? You're looking at me like, I hope I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, I'm actually just thinking like machine learning and my head's spinning right now because right. I think we could be there. We should all be there, okay? But a lot of companies are getting caught flat-footed. Some of them are being very innovative and moving forward, but a lot of them, you know, the majority of the Fortune 500 are not, okay? So, what else? Um, so the board of directors, well, let's talk about them for a second. And, and they're a good proxy for a lot of leadership within companies. Oftentimes, they're composed of people who I will politely say are a little bit more advanced in their careers um, fourth quarter of their career, whatever, however you like to put it, the fact is these folks did not grow up with technology at their fingertips. So the kinds of technology that are, that are, are creeping into organizations, they just can't fathom, okay? And, and I mean with that great respect, they cannot fathom. Um, I have 12 year old kids, and, the, and I think of myself as pretty tech savvy. The things they do with the iPad, I mean, I, you know, how did you do that? Okay, so imagine now you're responsible for, for you know, managing risk as a board of director member um, for a large company, and they're starting to play with, with cognitive computing, machine learning, and AI. It's very difficult for you to really weigh in and assess, one, is that the direction the company ought to be going, and two, are we doing it in a way that's gonna be, um, maximize the chance of success. Um, boards of directors are always provided briefings on risks. Okay, risks that face the company. Um, and if, if you are a shoemaker, and the risks that you're being briefed on are about people starting to wear sandals or go barefoot, then that's something you can get your head around. But if you're starting to get briefings on, on topics like cyber that you have no familiarity to begin with, well then how effective is that briefing really gonna be? Okay, oftentimes 
those briefings are done by people who know their subject very, very well, the CISOs and the CIOs, but there's still that understanding gap in trying to really get through to the board of directors. Uh, and why is it important to get through to the board of directors? Because they can set the tone with management. They can direct management to, to do certain things like make certain priorities um, or elevate certain priorities to start to mitigate these risks. Okay? And that's the board's job. Um, bringing it back to data, if they actually get a briefing on the AI plans that the company's going to embark on, um, it's woefully out of context. Because one of the things that I personally believe, and I mentioned this in my opening remarks, is balancing data use with risk and compliance are three legs of the same stool. They need to be done in context. If the board of directors gets a, a, you know, a briefing end of the day or the first day of the board meeting in Mar-a-Lago, um, and they talk about you know, all the nasty things that'll happen with data breaches, their head's buzzing with the fact we're being hacked by the Russians again. Um, and then the next day, they get a briefing on AI. They're not gonna connect the dots that for AI to work, they need data. And that data needs to be reliable. It needs to be complete. It needs to be secure. It needs to be all these things. It needs to conform with laws. They're not necessarily going to bridge those two and, and raise their hand and say, hey, Mr. Mr. CEO, if you're going to go down this path with AI, great, but how are you going to make sure we don't get sued and have to pay out $700 million um, because you had one arm not, you know, one, one branch not talking to the other branch? And, and it's, they need to be asking those questions. <clears throat> 